December 1981, new vehicle release. The Allure Dealer Network, which is managed from the New York Allure branch office, was chosen to launch the new 1982 Allure Britney, Britney Kenai, misspelled prior, Cascade, and Royce vehicles. The launch went well, with a total of 119 vehicles delivered to customers through New York's 15 Allure dealerships, while the rest of the network sold as follows. Allure Royce, 2. Allure Cascade, 3. Allure Britney, 10. Allure Britney Kenai, 10. The order books have closed for the limited edition Allure Royce, with 3,435 potential customers interested in the model, of which Allure has only manufactured 1,031 examples, of which 15 have already been delivered. The 1982 Emerson Performance S506 has finished the pre-production phase, launching in Chicago in Emerson Performance dealerships and in Detroit dealerships in preparation for the auto show in January. Design The Emerson BKB is a vehicle designed for younger buyers who are interested in purchasing their first automobile. In the early years, the design was to have a BKB that was full of safety features that were well beyond what the government or other manufacturers installed on their vehicles. While this approach will encourage young vehicle purchasers' parents to insist that this vehicle is the right choice for their young adult family member. Many customers don't consider this when purchasing their first vehicle. With this in mind, the engineers went back to the design table to rethink what young buyers would consider a suitable vehicle for their first purchase, and while not all safety features were omitted, many were. To start the task of finding out what would attract younger buyers to the Emerson BKB, the design team put together research that requested information from the demographic market. This was needed to make sure that the Emerson BKB met the needs of the younger buyer before anything else. When the research was complete it showed that the typical buyer of the BKB was interested in luxury and safety. This gave the design team what was needed to perform the refresh of the 1983 Emerson BKB's interior and exterior styling. The first task was to replace the round four headlights with the flush, aero-style type first used on the BKM compact crossover. The next step was to restyle the upper and lower grills to conform to the new headlights while still providing a stylish but functional way to move air to the engine, which gave the vehicle a 0.373 drag coefficient. Next was to replace the rear bumper, which was considered too large and did not complement the styling of the vehicle. The engineers took over the project after the design team and they were tasked with making this entry-level model perform better than its predecessor. To do this, they had to address the area of the project where the weight of the vehicle had to be lowered from the 2,720 pounds of the 1982 model. This required the help of the design team to ensure that the materials that were used in the cabin were conforming to what was needed to obtain the desired weight of the design, which still had the same power figures as the 1982 model. When this was accomplished, the result was a 48-pound reduction, which improved handling by 1% power by 1%, giving an overall performance gain of 3%. These figures translate to a 0 to 60 sprint time of 15.479 seconds on the way to a quarter mile time of 22.2953 seconds at 63.1955 miles per hour. This performance is an improvement over the 1982 model which had performance figures of a 0 to 60 sprint of 15.687 seconds on the way to a quarter mile time of 22.428 seconds at 62.8216 miles per hour. While styling, safety, and performance figures peak interest in customers, price is the ultimate deciding component when the buyer decides if they should sign on the dotted line and take ownership of a vehicle. This is not something that either the designers or engineering teams can foresee, no matter how many research questions we ask a potential buyer. Improvements cost money to implement what is needed to bring a vehicle to what the buyer desires. The 1983 Emerson BKBS takes many of the features implemented on the BKB but changes the transmission from a 4-speed automatic to a 5-speed manual. The change of transmission, which reduced the weight of the BKB, also required the chassis team to retune the suspension. Once this was done, the designers had to make adjustments to incorporate the use of the manual transmission, which required input from the drivetrain engineers. The result was a vehicle that had similar statistical performance figures but drove sportier. This is accomplished by improving the handling by 7%, improving the safety by 4%, and lowering the luxury type features by 1%. This translates to on paper statistical figures of a 0 to 60 sprint in 15.082 seconds, a quarter mile time of 22.0392 seconds at 63.9297 miles per hour, and an increased top speed of 91 miles per hour, which is 2 miles per hour over the BKB. The 1983 Emerson BKB-5's design does not differ from the BKB, which may confuse many lookers and owners. This element is a distinctive trait of the BK series of Emerson vehicles, which provides a stealth concept to blur the visual line between the 1 and 5 series of Emerson vehicles. Once the hood is opened, the concept of which series is owned is much clearer. The other clue to the difference between the series is the tone and performance figures. The 5 series receives 12 horsepower and a 9 foot-pound increase in torque over the BKB 1 Series Saloon while keeping the same styling. This results in a vehicle that weighs 39 pounds more than the BKB while achieving a 13.648 second sprint to 60 miles per hour on its way to a top speed of 94 while passing the quarter mile in 21.0822 seconds at 66.8317 miles per hour. The 1983 Emerson BKB 5S takes the same approach as the BKB S but adds the BKB 5's engine. The result of this trim is 13.307 seconds in the 60 second sprint, 
0.463 seconds in the quarter mile and a top speed of 96 miles per hour, which is achieved after passing the quarter at 67.588. Production. On November 31, 1981, Emerson Motor Company called the furloughed specialists back to the manufacturing facilities company-wide to resume the final run of 1981 vehicle models. This was a painstaking decision given that the company just had two consecutive months of losses due to financial restrictions caused by the ongoing New York and Detroit manufacturing facilities going through redesigns and the increasing labor costs. The deficit of those two months was a combined total of $29,006,651, of which only $26,972,112 was recouped via vehicle sales, leaving a negative balance of $2,034,539 and pending Emerson BKB redesign project costs of $11,471,338. January 1982, Contracts. Algorithm 4000 has awarded Emerson Motor Company's E5A transmission for 63 units with a total production contract of 5,827, which has been assigned to the Detroit, Michigan, Emerson Manufacturing Facility. Financial. Emerson Motor Company has a negative cash flow of $10,455,851 per the monthly summary with a total profit of $506,512,129 partially earned from the 242,205 vehicles sold. Electrification. Electric vehicle sales have grown to 5% of the market, which has decreased internal combustion vehicles to 99.95%. Market share. Emerson Motor Company represents 0.04% of the total automobile market, with 1.1% of compacts, 0.3% of compact SUVs, 1.9% of coupes, 2 plus 2, 2.4% of luxury, and 1.9% of sedan sales. Thank you, Edward J. Emerson, CEO of Emerson Motor Company.